Okay folks, welcome to the video where we are going to disassemble Young's Ambidex casting reel. So we're beginning by to disassemble the drum, removing the, the drag adjuster, which is just as much of a pain as it is on the Alcox Duco. In fact the Alcox Duco is probably slightly better. It does come off though. And it's pretty tricky to get off and the drum just lifts out then. And underneath there's another clicker. For the for the drag that is in good working order so I'm just going to leave that alone but you can unscrew that if you want to and that's the drum off and what we see under here is uh, this is the bail arm trip there's also a counterweight which goes on to there right disassembly of the counterweight and um, you essentially just take the screw out there's no mechanical parts there really they just it's just a weight to balance the weight of the reel disassembly of the bail arm Right, this particular screw comes out on one side of the drum, and then this one here seems a slightly bigger screwdriver in most cases anyway. That comes out, and there's a spring on it. And there you can see the spring there, that's just fallen out. So that's disassembly of the bail arm. Disassembly of the bail arm trip, the bail arm trip screw out, which is this here. So you need to remove that first, and this screw holds the bail arm trip down onto the drum. So we take that off. And it comes out through the hole. Okay. Disassembly of the handle system on the on the Ambidex. It's called the Ambidex because the handle can be put onto either side of the reel. So essentially it's um, a normal right hand thread. It just comes away. It's on a um, double flight shaft. And this one is particularly good and tight. So that's a good one effectively. And on the other side, you can change the handle over if you wish to this side. There's a sh like a shim spacer and a set screw. Okay, just assembly of the handle. It's essentially a case of removing this screw, which is stiff and you don't want it to be too loose, <laughs> otherwise it'll come off when you're using the reel. And there's a little brass shaft in there which can be oiled. Right, just assembly of the plate. You basically unloosen the screws and take them out. There you go. And the plate is quite a tight fit, but it should just come off like that. And underneath you've got the ratchet mechanism and the mechanism of the reel inside. Disassembly of the slider. Take this pin here, pull it. <laughs> and the slider just comes out, just like that. This part here, this is called the cam rider. And this just comes away by unscrewing the castellated nut. Uh, and this nut has a, a section on it which stops the cam rider from being tightened down too tight. So just mount on the main cog. It just sits on a slide bearing um, in the main body of the reel and you just pull it out and that's it. That takes that out. Also note when dismantling that you've got you've got your lock nut back here and you've got your ball race and underneath there there's a little washer too so you need to keep that and make sure you don't lose it. Okay so removal of the drum um, requires you to unscrew this lock nut here which is fairly easy to do actually. It's not particularly difficult to move it. This gets in the way of you taking it off, so you have to pull the, the drum down a little bit in order to get it to come away. It will eventually, it's not a particularly long thread or anything like that. This piece here, which I'm just going to take off now, this is a ball race. It's a small ball race. So this is how this reel differs from the Alcox Duco, in that it has a little ball race at the end there. And you take it out, and you've got essentially a Teflon washer here, which can be removed. It's, it's quite a tight fit on the shaft and the shaft here and you've got a ball race here which also comes away and underneath that there's another Teflon washer which can also be removed for cleaning. Okay a word about the plate, disassembly of the plate and reassembly of the plate. These pieces are riveted on by JW Young's and you can't move them really so if you push the lever and it should come out from the ratchet and then go back in again depending on what you do with the lever. So if that works, oil it and leave it alone. Well folks, that brings us to the end of this particular video. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, please check out our store, Odds Ornaments, on Etsy.com, um, which we do sell vintage fishing gear, amongst other things. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye.